What's going on champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey, and I've just been having some fun today playing on some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 because let me tell you, for some reason I prefer the 2019 Call of Duty Modern Warfare as a multiplayer over any of the more recent multiplayers and over all the older multiplayers just because in the older ones they didn't have like crossplay or anything so you couldn't really find matches. But overall, in the currently, you know, active player base area, I, oh, nope, oh, sorry to the teammate there, but in the currently active player base area, I've been enjoying Modern Warfare the most for multiplayer and black ops 3 the most when it comes to like a zombies experience Woo! popping off okay wait hey there we go got a kill right at the very end there i'm happy with that but yeah i've just been enjoying this for its multiplayer experience a lot more recently but one thing i've realized about myself when it comes to playing call of duty is that i really really enjoy and prefer playing super small maps like this right here i just kind of you know forgot to back out of the lobby instead of you know doing all that stuff but i prefer like the super tiny boxed in maps so if i'm playing something like modern warfare i want to play shipment if i'm playing something like vanguard i want to play shipment as well if i'm playing something like call of duty cold war or black ops i want to play nuketown i want to play on the smallest maps they have i don't know if it's because like you know i like grinding out challenges a lot easier or whatever in those modes or what but i just really prefer these simple you know like go there shoot die shoot die shoot die over 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 and over again loop where it's super fast paced and i don't have to worry about you know running around for a minute maybe to get killed instantly or to find another person obviously that's kind of an exaggeration but i really just prefer for super fast paced maps it's just something that you know i i would choose every day over the alternative and since it's shoot house we're gonna back out we're gonna go in a new match but yeah how have you guys been doing today there's recently been some leaks going on over on the Fortnite channel regarding, you know, the brand new season, Chapter 3, Season 4. So if you're curious of what the collab skin is going to be next season, you're curious of what all the cosmetics are going to be or whatnot, I made a video today talking about that over there. So, of course, if you like my channel, you like my style, feel free to hop over there. It's the exact same style, but that channel is obviously dedicated to just Fortnite news. However, speaking of styles and stuff, I gotta say, I really appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the recent style change on both this channel and the other channel, because something I've noticed is that you guys really prefer me just chilling, you know, talking about stuff that I have on my mind instead of, you know, how I was doing it before where it was, like, very choppy or whatever. It's like the live commentary style, like this right here, makes it seem more organic to me in a way, whereas the old style made it seem more like, okay, you know, this is a scripted video or whatever, which, believe it or not, my previous videos on both channels were 99% of the time not scripted. What I would do is I would re-record clips. Oh, God, the lag. Okay, but I would re- oh my god. Why am I lagging so hard out of nowhere? Am I gonna have to like restart my game or something? I, I have a 3070. Why is this happening? But uh, you know, let, let's hope that this isn't killing the video. Let's hope everything's fine here But yeah with the recent news and everything I've been seeing regarding the change It seems a lot of people felt that my old content, you know My old style was a lot more scripted when it 99% of the time It wasn't the reason why is because of the fact that I would re-record video clips over and over and over and over again You can ask friends who I played with and stuff I will record videos while playing with friends sometimes like I'm doing right now except you know I would just be recording the webcam part and not the gameplay audio or anything and I would re-record the same clip until I fine-toned it to sound exactly like how I wanted it to sound to sound how as professional as I wanted yada 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 so that you know they would get the best impression and best part of news or whatever in the shortest amount of time possible but then I started realizing that you know I maybe maybe that wasn't working because you know views were down on the Fortnite channel I would gain a big influx of subscribers and then for the next like week or whatever after the update came out it would just be a downhill slope of just losing subscribers so I changed stuff up and everyone seemed to really enjoy this style so yeah, I just got to give a quick shout out to every one of you that's been enjoying this, giving me feedback on it and all that stuff. I, I, I think I'm already, you know, set on how I want to do this type of content. And I think the main goal right now is going to be, you know, on the commentary channel. Jesus, there's the lag spike again. I don't know what's causing this. But I think the main focus is going to be on this channel and trying to get it to 15k or 20k by the end of the year. I want to do 15k as like a, hey, you just started, you know, making proper videos in the style you like goal. And then 20k as in the, hey, you've actually managed to, you know, make some decent content, pick some good topics or whatever, that you're starting to gain some, uh, gain a following. So I think 15k is the small goal for this year, 20k is like the end of this year goal or next year goal, and then we just go from there. Because my, my main focus, right, is on transferring this, you know, Fortnite news job that makes me all like the revenue and stuff I use for, uh, 
paying bills, buying food, whatnot, into a job where the commentary channel kind of takes over as the main focus, and it becomes a situation where I could just not do Fortnite news, because we know Fortnite's not going to be around for all of eternity, so being able to, you know, still do what I love, which is YouTube, and being able to somehow get a computer that wants to run this game properly, apparently, I don't know why it's running worse than, like, Call of Duty Vanguard or other recent CODs, but it is, but just being able to actually, you know, get a Call of Duty, oh, uh, no, no, uh, ah, uh, get a YouTube channel set up in a way where I can just talk about whatever I want, you guys watch it, and I'm able to, you know, support myself financially, is the main goal, because, obviously, Fortnite's not gonna be the thing that's going to be around forever, and eventually, if I don't adapt, you know, if I don't expand this channel, I don't, uh, prove that I'm able just to be myself and people will watch me for me, then I'll be in a struggling situation once, you know, the Fortnite stuff's over, so it's part of me, you know, wanting to be able to do YouTube, my, my favorite job ever, basically my only job, uh, and turn this into, you know, something I do a lot of the time. Now, I know some people will call me a sellout and stuff because sometimes, you know, I do, uh, I, I do sponsored videos here, sponsored ad reads or whatever every once in a while, and I gotta be honest here. I, I try to, I'm trying to make some money. I'm trying to make some money moves. So if I ever do, like, a sponsored ad in a video, just know I, I'm not doing it because, you know, I hate you guys, girl. I'm turning you all into money. But I'm also doing it because, you know, sometimes some extra money is going to be helpful whenever it comes to, like, paying taxes or whatnot. And Jesus, dude shot me so hard he, like, broke my game again. But basically, it's like, you know, I make the videos just because I enjoy making these videos, but the little, like, ad reads and stuff that get placed into every single video, well, not every video, but, like, the occasional once-a-month video or whatever, that's just so I can have some extra money, you know, so I'm able to continue doing this instead of having to, you know, actually like slow down on making YouTube videos and actually slow down and all that stuff. So just know that I make videos because I really enjoy doing YouTube. I enjoy doing this, but I also do ads every once in a while so that I'm able to continue making the type of videos I want to make without going like full sellout clickbait mode because I hate clickbait. Look, I, I get why some people clickbait, you know, it's the easy way out. I mean, I, I, I look, I, I've talked, my game is dead. Okay. My game is just dying here, but I've talked to like clickbait YouTubers with millions of subscribers. I, I used to help uh, ghost ninja make a video one time before, and I've talked with these people about, you know, YouTube and stuff back when I was a little small lad on YouTube before I even had the Fortnite channel all the way up there and grown or whatever and one thing that they had basically told me one thing ghost ninja you know the big youtube man told me is that he considers clickbait right clickbait content as the easy way like he believes that anyone can you know grow on youtube anyone can gain a following with or without clickbait but clickbait makes it a lot easier according to them so am i struggling a little bit more am i am i going through the real struggle here by just deciding you know what i'm not going to be a clickbaity boy maybe but at the same time i think that Maybe that's good for me because I don't want to be known as that guy who has like a thumbnail or a title That's like my wig got cut off prank in the in, in the grocery store gone wrong Oh my god, I almost died I, I just want to you know chill play some video games as I normally do basically just, I just want to do what I already love doing and just have you guys like listening to me do that type of stuff and vibe with me right we're the vibe zone We're not the clickbait zone so yeah, that's just how I personally feel about that whole situation. You know, it's like obviously people are gonna clickbait, clickbait's gonna be there forever, but I want to, you know, stray away from doing clickbait while also managing to grow myself up to a point where we're able to do ad reads every once in a while just for some extra, you know, revenue or whatnot. And also, uh, I, I, you know what, I'll, I'll say that after this part, but I uh, just get some ad revenue or whatever going in there, be able to support myself financially. But also, I do want to mention, I have morals when it comes to sponsors. I may not know everything about every single sponsor, I may not know a sponsor sponsors controversy or whatever, but I refuse to do an NFT deal. I've gotten a lot of emails recently, right? I, I, the past few months on my Fortnite channel, I've gotten a lot of emails about it being like, hey, we want you to have a sponsor, uh, we want to sponsor you with our NFT, blah, 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 blah. And they will offer insane amounts of money. They'll be like, $2,000 for a 60 second integration in a video. That's a lot of money. Most ad reads and stuff, I'm gonna be real with you guys, most of them are probably like 200 bucks maximum for like a 90 second integration, but that's still a good decent chunk of money just for talking about an ad real quick. But when it comes to NFTs, I refuse to do those because even though it's a lot of money, even though that's like how much I would make in a few months or whatever, I have morals, right? I don't want to promote NFTs to you guys. I don't understand NFTs. I think NFTs are cringe. There's no point in owning a, fung a non-fungible image or whatever, so I'm not going to promote that stuff. So keep in mind, I am just here to vibe, but also if I do a sponsored ad, 
I'm just going to, you know, make sure that whatever I'm getting sponsored by is not the worst thing on the earth. You know, it's something that if you do end up buying it or purchasing it or whatever, you're not going to lose all your money gambling or something like that. We're not like those type of YouTubers. I don't really know why we got in a rant, by the way, about ad revenue, but hey, you know what? It made for a good video. With that said, however, I think I'm going to play another match of shipment off camera and then, you know, hop off for the night, you know, chill a little bit more and hopefully we'll be good. I want to know how this video does, so let me know in the comments down below what you thought and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode of whatever it is I do. Peace out.